ladies and gentlemen good morning whatever you are in the world it's mamba here bringing you uh, from the Bogo road um, job site this is a part of the uh, cross river rail project and um, as you can see um, they're forming up all those cops so what we're looking at here ladies and gentlemen is um, they're building all these columns obviously for the bridge to fly over as you can see over there they've already uh, prepped that so I don't know if they've already poured the concrete up there it doesn't look like it because um, they're probably waiting to secure the whole lot and then they just pour it as they progress as they come that way you can see obviously it's ramping up yeah we'll see where that's going so this is where they had a there was an incident here a couple of weeks ago one of the workers um, fell from one of those scaffolding up there and um, yeah right now he's fighting for his life as he walked that's the most uh, tragic thing that can happen to anyone you just want to go to work and and um, come back home safely sometimes these um, companies put you on, on too much pressure and and um, yeah if you don't have proper representation you you will get hurt so um, you can see these are the systems they have here it must be a new scarf they're still installing obviously you can see there's a few pieces missing there that hasn't been blocked off yet. There's a little bit of uh, openings. I'm signing. How'd they get up there? I see this is the stairs. No links. It's going to be blocked off. So these young men came to work. And um, the next minute he's in hospital fighting for his life so they haven't had proper representation here there has not been a union site so um, it's only the last couple of weeks that all the guys on cross river rail jobs went on a um, strike initiated by the CFMU and um, hopefully they will have uh, proper representation as it were guys so uh, considering this is a very big project as it as it is they didn't even have a presentation from from the union or anything like that so this is a government project obviously it's a five billion five billion dollar project or something like that to be able to um, not be able to make sure that the uh, workers are safe it's just a shame considering all that amount of money that they have they want to keep all the profit for themselves so guys this is the job obviously as you can see it's a massive job so saturday obviously it's quiet there's not much happening and back in the days they used to work saturdays too so now they just yeah with the union being here they um not working Saturday unless it's an essential thing that they do have to do that will um, be permitted so yeah I wish uh, the young men a uh, quick recovery and uh, hopefully uh, his family uh, are okay it's never easy to uh, have one of your loved ones hurt or yeah, and especially if they are the pride winner. That's, that's why these uh, some of these bosses don't understand that. <laughs> so you look after your workers. They work. They work well for you, and much safer, more efficient. The job will be. But if you don't look after them, you're only gonna get bad quality of work. Uh, yeah, it goes it goes both ways. Uh, that's all I can say about that. We'll get all the other facts as as days progress. Obviously, this is that project. It's a big project, and um, yeah, they are 
moving on i haven't been here until that incident i've heard about it and um i was like i want to go and see what this place looks like so now you've been here with yours truly we'll come back and um explore obviously here they're doing those columns they pre-make it so they would have had the scarf identical to that here now they finished stripping it they will uh but even with the stripping like it's just still they sh should still have scaffolding until the whole thing is stripped but they've already stripped the scaff so i don't know how they're gonna do this they're gonna use uh EWP or what and they get those super slims out they must have another way they're gonna do it but i would assume they would have had scaff all around this to be able to take all the screws gotta be stripped you can see there oh, i don't know how they're gonna get up there get a cherry pick or something but that scarf strip that have a loading bay out here someone push all this stuff out get it off and strip it and get the strip the scarf they're going on ahead and strip the scarf obviously there's another shorty job over there there's no accessibility i don't see any other way you can access this to get that off unless they're gonna can't even drop strip that it's already on the jacks are very low they're gonna strip it up the middle yeah planning 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 all right guys this is bugger road obviously we come back and uh, have a look again there's another thing guys like um, this is a pedestrian access way which is still um, active and if you look here over this part considering how the proximity of how close uh, it is to the pathway You would think they'll have a gantry here like like wh wh when we went to that green bridge You see how they have that gantry thingy that people go under this is just basically to protect the people from Anything that could fall over like uh, one of these beams perhaps or God forbid anything so there should be a overpass there should be a Gantry going through here if this is a live There's even just having spotters it's well you can have spotters but gantry probably will be ideal for that for that matter for this particular task and that scarf there i don't know how they're getting up there but yeah it is what it is i'm sure the union will get on top of that and uh, yeah fix that